I'd like to call the meeting to order and welcome everyone to the Laverne Planning Commission regular meeting on May 28th, 2024 at 6 p.m. We do have a quorum. Our first item of business is to approve the meeting minutes from the April 30th, 2024 regular meeting and May 14th, 2024 workshop. I'll entertain a motion. Motion to accept as submitted. We have a motion to accept. We have a second. Second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Motion passes. We did not have anyone sign up for public comment. So will we move on to item number three. Site plan, Dose Retail Center, building totaling 4,200 square feet on 1.28 acres requested by Chet Roads. Property located at 5130 Murfreesboro Road. Tax map 15M, Group A, Parcel 1. C2 Highway Service Zoning District, property owned by Tennessee Group Properties, LLC. Mr. Logan. Thanks. So as many of you know, this project um, has been trying to get off the ground for a year to a year and a half. They were here back in 2023. And um, they just keep running into some challenges. So um, they've exhausted all of their deferrals. Thank you, Jerry. They've exhausted all their deferrals, um, unfortunately, but um, on the screen, you can see this is the former car wash that's located uh, almost across from where we sit tonight, um, Brewer Street and Murfreesboro Road. But at any rate, um, since they have not attended the workshops and have been um, absent, I'll, I won't spend much time on the on the project, but I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thanks. Thank you. Do we have any questions or comments from the board? This is the third deferral. Yes, Mr. Chair, I'd like to jump in. But in the third deferral, uh, I think we need to vote on this, and so I'll make a motion to deny uh, reference the 13, 13 items of the planning department of, and the eight items from engineering. Thank you, sir. We have a motion to deny. Our second for discussion real quick. We have a second discussion. Um, uh, Mr. Logan, have you heard anything from the applicant or their representative with this? I have not in, I want to say, two months. Okay. That's what I wanted to establish is whether they've been in touch with us or not. Thank you, sir. With that, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Next item. Site plan U-Haul phase two. Two buildings totaling approximately 43,000 square feet on 10 acres requested by SEC, Inc. Property located at 503 New Paul Road. Tax map 17, parcel 40.03. I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District. Property owned by America Real Estate Company. Mr. Logan. Thanks. So this applicant is uh, requesting site plan approval, and this is for the U-Haul facility on New Paul Road. And uh, as you know, they were here a couple months back, and they... Um, they had a, a structure on site. It was a canopy um, that was not um, approved by the city. Uh, so they took some time in March and April and uh, removed the illegal structure. So uh, they're back tonight, and uh, they're ready to go ahead with this site plan. So this property, New, uh, New Paul Road, of course, is right beside I-24. You see there in the image, and then... The zoning map, this is I-2, heavy industrial, which is the dark blue color. And these are some uh, photos of the site. So off in the distance is one of the Prologis buildings, one of the large distribution centers. So a lot of the Prologis and the center point buildings are all around this U-Haul site. And then there's another photo. Also, you can probably see this large area of asphalt so uh, back in 2021, um, U-Haul had proposed with their first site plan to build a lot of storage in this area, some for boats and RVs and whatnot. And that evolved over time, so they had to come back to Planning Commission to actually receive permission from U-Haul to not do anything because they decided to not build any of that. So that's why the large area of asphalt existed for two, three years, because they canceled their first plans. But tonight's uh, plan has two buildings, of course, and um, those two buildings will total about um, 
believe it's about 20,000 uh, square feet, give or take. Um, there's no technical items remaining. Uh, they've worked through all of those, so um, that completes the report. Thanks. Thank you. Do we have any questions or comments? Mayor? Um, Mr. Logan, can you go to um, C0.2? Well, right there, actually. You're right on it. Okay. Um, and do we have somebody um, representing this? If you don't mind, sir, please state your name and address for the record. Yes, sir. Matt Taylor of SEC, 850 Middle Tennessee Boulevard, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Matt, what is the, the, the benchmark that's right there? It looked almost like a whole other building at first. but The benchmark is actually pointing to there's a uh, little symbol right there. It's just what the elevation is right there. So once the contractor gets out there, he can shoot that spot and knows what he is, and he can – um, use that to establish his building elevation to pavement elevations. Okay. Okay. I didn't see square footage, so I didn't think it was a building, but at first glance, it looked like it was an, an extra building on there. Suddenly. Yes, sir. Um, with that, if there's no one else having any questions, I'll make a motion to accept as submitted. Second. We have a motion to accept and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Mm -hmm. Item number five. Preliminary plat, Arbor Ridge, section 4, 7, and 8, 150 lots on approximately 39.75 acres requested by SEC, Inc. Property located off Waldron Road, tax map 32, parcel 4, PDR, Plan Density Residential Zoning District, property owned by Starlight Homes of Tennessee, excuse me, Tennessee LLC. Mr. Logan. So this is the uh, request for approval of the preliminary plat at Arbor Ridge. And this is sections four, seven, and eight. Uh, this total is about 150 lots at Arbor Ridge. So you can see there on the screen, uh, this is the intersection of Blair Road and Waldron. Um, and then the blue outline is the commercial area that was approved in the PDR for Arbor Ridge. So this corner is commercial. And then, of course, um, to the west, across the road, is more uh, commercial area for this project. But we're talking about these homes uh, that would be built in the future um, behind the commercial area and close to Blair Road, um, where I'm pointing, roughly. And this entire uh, project is on Plan Density Residential, which is PDR, and it has the R1 base zoning, um, which is the orange color. And then here's some site photos from the last uh, few stormy weeks. You can see in the distance, so we're kind of looking back on this ridge uh, toward Blair Road. These pictures are taken from Waldron Road. So this is looking um, like east, uh, maybe even uh, east-southeast a little bit. Another photo there that just shows all the earth moving equipment that they've got on site this week. Let me get here. Is this the one? No, the, the, the actual profile drawing. Oh, okay. So this uh, picture here is actually Blair Road, and you're looking west. Uh, over that hill would be Waldron Road. You can't see it's out of sight, but... And then this section here, um, Mr. Lyde's going to make some comments. Okay, so the biggest change they did, and at our request, the entrance to the site, which was down here, and gave me a little heartburn about site distance, they have moved it to right here, which is a huge improvement. So they've addressed uh, engineering concerns. Thank you very much. Do we have any questions or comments from the board? Um, I have one for the applicant. If you would, sir, once again, name and address. Yes, sir. Matt Taylor of SCC 850 Middle Tennessee Boulevard, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Thank you. Um, just wanted to confirm, because I know people will be asking, um, with the changes with the, the road there, um, that's not affecting any density um, number of units, correct? Correct. Okay. With that, I'll make a motion to accept as submitted. Motion to accept. We have a second. Second for discussion. Second, sir. Please. Question for the applicant. Uh, so, 
So now the entrance on Ambrosia Drive, is the width the same as it was before? So we got the... the we actually made it made it three lanes instead of two lanes uh, up, but basically between the intersection of Jacinta, I think is what we're calling that, and Ambrosia. Between the intersection of that and Wall or Blair, it's three lanes wide. So you've got a one way in, one in. You got a left out and a right out, and then it goes beyond that. It goes back down to two lanes like it normally would. Okay, good. And then the detention area, the 1.54, has that changed or is that remaining the same? I think, that, I think that's been consistent. We didn't really touch that. Our, our uh, revisions had really been uh, between the intersection of Large Poppy and Blair and Ambrosia and Blair. So it was very isolated to that area. Okay. And this is for staff. So, so obviously this is the, the, the best location for the entranceway. Would that be correct? Yes, sir, absolutely. We have a motion and a second to accept as submitted. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Item number six. Site plan, new charter school and existing two-story building requested by SEC, Inc. Property located at 2 Ingram Boulevard, tax map 17, parcel 20.02, .02, I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District. Property owned by David B. Ingram, Mr. Logan. Thanks. This request is for a new charter school. This will be a change of use at an existing office building, and that building is located at 2 Ingram Boulevard. And um, you can see on the screen are the plans that have been submitted for this project. So this building uh, today does front Ingram, and we've got some pictures here that I'll get for you all any rate so this uh, building is part of the Ingram content group um, I believe it was formerly called Ingram books back in the 90s and maybe even before that but um, the office building there today you can see on the screen it's a two-story office building probably built in the mid 90s uh, that's the front entrance as it looks today. So uh, this is a brick and EFAS building. You can sort of see the front of this building at least is brick. Uh, a lot of landscaping. And um, anyway, you probably heard me say in the earlier meeting at Boza, it's a, been a very well-kept property and uh, it's very nice looking. So getting onto the plans here, uh, there's a sea of parking you've probably seen if you've been out there um, Amazon was leasing this east side of the parking lot, but that lease has come to an end. Um, even without that parking, I may have mentioned last month, the parking in the city is based on classroom count, and the plans show 15 classrooms. Um, that amounted to about 35 to 40 parking spaces. And just in this area alone, I these were never counted, I, at least I didn't count this side, the Amazon lease. Just in the front is about 118, and they would only need 35 to 40. So they're triple the amount of spaces they need just from the front of the building. Um, and since it's a change of use without a, uh, any change to the building footprint, the main thing that planning is looking at is parking. So it's over parked for a school. Um, other than that, there's, I don't think there's any comments on the reports at all and Mr. Lai doesn't have any so um, that completes the report thanks perfect thank you sir do we have any questions or comments from the board yes sir do we have an applicant once again kind sir if you don't mind sir Matt Taylor of SEC 850 Middle Tennessee Boulevard Murfreesboro Tennessee thanks Mayor, please. Um, so we talked at the workshop about uh, the traffic study, and I think y'all have that back now. Yes, sir. We, we got that back last week. We shared that with Mr. Lyd, and essentially the recommendations were um, one-way circulation and then to do a school zone approximately 500 feet from in either direction from the entrances. So that will get you almost to the intersection of Mason and Ingram, and then about halfway um, between... Um, this entrance and Waldron Road. Okay. Any further questions? There was some discussion about the 
lines on the, the street for walkways, are they going to be removed or are they going to be redone? What's the plan there? I was, I don't know, I, I was thinking I, they had been. I may be able to touch, I actually did a drive by after asking that question and in front of this facility, uh, there is not from okay. building, from the other Ingram building to the large warehouse Ingram building, there is, though there does not appear to be in this section. Okay, thank you. There's just some rumble strips. I think so, but I was looking at crosswalks. And then um, just to confirm, y'all will be putting up the the um, 15 mile per hour zone. Yes, sir. I take it flat, is it just the regular, like we see at the uh, other public schools, the yes, flashing sir. lights? Yes, sir. Okay. We'll have signage and flashing lights, um, well, one on each side of the road. Um, we're also adding a sidewalk along Ingram Boulevard as well. So. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Any further questions? I'll make a motion to accept as submitted. We have a motion to accept. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Oh boy. Here we are. <laughs> Item number seven. Recommendation of the Board of Mayor and Aldermen for subdivision acceptance, Finch Branch Section 2, development totaling 31 lots requested by Finch Branch Building Group LLC, property located off Greenwood and Irvin Drives, tax map 17L Group A, parcel 8.04, R2 Medium Density Residential Zoning District. Mr. Logan. Thanks. So this subdivision acceptance is for Finch Branch, Section 2, and you can see it there on the screen outlined in blue and on the zoning map it's R2 zoning so it's medium density residential and this is the plat that shows uh, the area that's being um, considered for acceptance and I believe it is a total of 30 31 lots so I'll turn it over to Mr. Lyde um, and that completes the report. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Apologies. It's an oversight on my part. Uh, I meant to eliminate all these comments. They have been addressed for two weeks. All departments in the city have signed off. Thank you very much. Questions or comments from the board? Sir? Is the applicant here? Or? If you would, please come to the podium. State your name and address. Uh, Brian Burns, 6 Public Square North, Murfreesboro. Thank you, sir. This question, lot, the building envelope on 146, looks like it's kind of wedged in there. Just uh, if you could elaborate on what we plan on doing with that one. Oh, it'll be a narrow, narrower house that goes there. Yeah. We'll have to come up with a special plan on that one. Is it going to fit the square footage requirements and all? And yes, sir. Setbacks? Yes, sir. It just seemed a little wedged in there. All right, just want to make no, sure. It, it'll fit, sir. Okay. It'll be the most unique house in the neighborhood. No, I don't know if it'll be that bad. Hopefully not. Hopefully it'll blend right in. Yes. I will uh, make a uh, favorable recommendation to the Board of Mayor and Aldermen for acceptance. We have a motion for a favorable recommendation for acceptance. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? We will be sending a favorable recommendation to the Board of Mayor and Aldermen for this subdivision acceptance. Item number eight is bonds and letters of credit. Swings. Hello, Planning Commissioners. Um, it's been a minute since I had to do this. Um, everything is up to date. There is one that's expiring next month that I've already reached out to. So besides that, everything looks good. Very good. Do we have any questions or comments from the board? With that, meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Okay.